Hello, ladies and gents, Mean Green Fight Machine Radio here at North Texas, north of Dallas in Denton, Texas. Going up against, we got right here, Brad Nessler, Kurt Herbstreit, Lee Corso, and the boys for NCAA Football 11, brought to you by EA Sports. It's in the game, North Texas Mean Green starting off their dynasty here. First game against Clemson Tigers, no Dabo Sweeney just yet, but this team is solid enough. Team that used to have C.J. Spiller and company in the backfield. Quite a strong backfield, but they got Bowers and company on this defensive line at defensive end, left end. He's going to be a guy to look out for in this game. There go the mean green fighting machine in this one. What can this North Texas team do? Left end, number 93. We talked about Bowers before this game. All-American defensive end for Clemson. Here at Memorial Stadium, what can they do? They've already rubbed the rock for good luck. It's as if this team needs it. North Texas team right here with Coach D trying to build up as best as he can, try to get a bowl game the next couple of seasons with this North Texas team. What can they do today? They're known for having a good spread offense, but how good? Is it good in regard to you know, the Sun Belt and the lack of talent there compared to other schools. And you're going to see it right here on this first play. Halfback number eight, just charging through on the outside, getting a couple broken tackles. Then wide receiver number 87, impact player on the defense, free safety number 10, I believe, on the tackle. Nicely done. Third and two here. What is Clemson going to do? A beautiful juke move, but it's going to be incomplete. Fourth down, what can they do? Too far for the field goal, but not too far to get the first down. First down for Clemson on this one, and then just too easy, horrible man coverage. Safety did not have the awareness to get it on top, and they go up with a touchdown. Six points for Clemson. Extra points going to go through. One catch, 26 yards, a sole catch for the sole touchdown so far in this game. You're going to see more of this wide receiver number 21, and what can quarterback number six do? Pass on the first play of the game. Wide receiver number 15. The weird thing about this offense, they're going to have quite the spread. Are they going to try to do the approach of a Hawaii University? We're going to see what Coach D has in store in the play calling on the offensive side of the ball. A team that runs the spread. Can they get a good pass offense going on? Obviously, Bowers is coming in and hitting the living shit out of the impact player at halfback. And we already saw that fumble. Now we're going to see a sack. Third and 27. What can he do here? And it's unfortunately going to be incomplete. Clemson's ball. Fumble, though. North Texas is going to pick it up, taking it down. And what more of a beginning of a shit day than to get your first cause turnover leading to a fumble and then it going back and <laughs> giving up the ball to Clemson again. Another fumble picked up by the offensive lineman. What's up, fellas? JPS delivers here, right? Oh, I mean, going up against Clemson, Dabo Sweeney's not here yet, but it sure as hell feels like it. This defense is just all over the field against us. What can we do against this North Texas, or uh, against this Clemson team, I should say, in our first game ever on this dynasty in NCAA Football 11? Again, this is a fun-ass game. Rosters draw Johnson was amazing at Texas A&M at this point. Ends up having a letdown season to where they end up making the Cotton Bowl after switching over to Ryan Tannehill. That's a name I think most of us should know nowadays if you watch sports, especially the NFL now. Ryan Tannehill made his move. He was his best wide receiver. And then in this season, it was supposed to be uh, Jeff Fuller and Ryan Swope, to where eventually you get Ryan Tannehill having a solid season with these guys to win, I think, was it five games in a row? And make it to 9-4 and four and to lose to LSU in that one. But into the first quarter, 17-0. to zero. Clemson Tigers easily in control, easily ahead in this game. What can this North Texas team do? If you're going to be on the road, what kind of momentum can you try to create on such an offensive possession? Easy, lucky throw when it seems all luck has been lost. And then another nice play right here. Wide receiver number 19. It wasn't quite what Iowa wide receiver number 80's skills have been. But we'll take it right here. Slot wide receiver number four might actually be the best wide receiver on this team. He's going to get utilized here for the rest of this game. What can he do? What can North Texas do on the next possession after this nice touchdown drive? As we saw, three very solid passes. And then, bam, wide receiver 21 is just taking over this game, but just not on that play. A flag, though, what is it going to be? It's going to be holding... Got to take advantage of that one. Now third and 15. What can the quarterback do? 
And it's going to be a fumble picked up by the offensive line. Wish we could have had nice field position, but here's a big drive. What can they do? I should have thrown that better. Um, I know we're dealing with a quarterback that has like 80 overall like throwing power, 76 like throwing accuracy, and that's after improving him. What can we do? I don't know because that, I mean, I called, I called an audible hot route on that one. The best we could have done whatsoever, but, you know, in all honesty, that's just going to be a work in progress with this team. And speaking of work in progress, we got ourselves another impact linebacker at right outside linebacker. Literally the same number, 42. He's not quite the beast as what we see with B.J. Simmons and the boys at Iowa. But hey, we're trying to build a dynasty here. Again, you're dealing with like freshmen on these teams that are like 45 overall. Dudes that are not even considered one-star recruits it's just it's nuts like that it's just what we're gonna have to build off of for unfortunately um, and phew, jesus christ it's gonna be a lot of drop passes in this dynasty i just fucking know it and then nice little pocket presence right there by the quarterback number six but it's just too late gonna get absolutely destroyed by left end destroyed right here on that play third and 13 it was oh yeah i know why it ended up right there that should have been caught Maybe it was bad time by me to leap up for that ball. I thought it was good positioning. But wide receiver number 21, he does have those two touchdown catches on the day. Makes another two catches right here. But it's going to be a fumble in North Texas' direction. What can we do? Down by 17. Got a little bit of momentum shifted our way. And right here, throwing it out. However, got to play by the rules, Clemson. Got to play by the rules. You're beating the shit out of us, but you're not going to get away with everything. Rough in the passer. Automatic first down, 15 yards down the field. Quarterback number six throws it to the star player at running back and a beautiful catch. I mean, hey, if you're going to be the impact running back for an offense that's a spread, you better be able to catch the ball. And he, I mean, this dude's a better receiver than we ever had with B.J. Simmons and them out of the backfield. So I'm going to take it all day. Big, big move. What can happen the rest of this half? Only down by 10 points in what seems... To just, you know, seem to be a huge, huge lopsided game. And then right here, just tight end number 83. I don't know even know what his speed is, but this defense isn't even that fast. Now four tackles with the free safety. 58-yard completion. Not quite a touchdown, but definitely, definitely put the hurt on this defense. And just any bit of momentum that we just gained off of that previous possession on offense. 24-14 still. Nice tackle. Defense is holding their own now, it seems. Not just, you know, just got to get rid of these chunk plays. Now third and 18. Less than 40 seconds to go when this ball finally gets snapped off. Running back now in motion on the left side of the field. Quarterback number 11, impact player. Is going to throw it out to his man. Bad judgment right there. Bad tackle. And it's going to be a bad defensive possession. Defensive play for sure. 58-yard reception to the tight end. Now a 19-yard pass completion, which should have been, you know, really when you think about it, should have been just, what, five yards. Should have been tackled. It should have just been tackled before the first down anyways. But there it is at halftime. 17-0 to at the end of the first quarter. Both teams score two touchdowns to make it still a 17-point margin. 17 or 31 to 14 at halftime nice completion right there now the quarterback running for his life but it's just going to be a little too late another sack on the day for clemson and these guys are going bat shit here it's number six florida now with tim tebow gone and one of the best college careers ever especially at the quarterback position tim tebow and them they still get uh, number six in the country florida with a nice win right there against some bullshit team bullshit play Bad throw. Luckily, it was not intercepted, but it's going to be Clemson ball again. Wide receiver number 21, like I said. Going to see more and more of him. Another first down. Now to the halfback number 8. About 350. Three fitted lift here. And then a beautiful user pick. I read that nicely. Technically, in the cover three, he's supposed to be about 5, 10 yards down the field um, in his zone, but no one was over there. I've done a bad job of reading, but finally read the book on that one. Nicely done. Going to be the, I believe it's going to be the first interception of the season. We already caused that turnover, that fumble. And then speaking of fumbles, clutch play by this freshman. Do we do have a freshman left tackle? He's 76 overall. Take it with, with what you will. Um, you're now going to see you know, a team that, compared to other Sunbelt 
teams, the talent can't be all too overwhelming on the defense like you're seeing today with Bowers in this uh, Clemson team. Um, I just, we'll just have to see because 76 overall for a true freshman at, at left tackle. Looks like we got the blind side for the future for at least the next you know three years, including this season. Most likely North Texas, and what a hit right here. This defensive tackle, senior. I think both of them are seniors on this defensive line. And then another tease for a field goal. Make it 34-14 to 14. Clemson. Not up by a huge, huge margin, but still healthy enough right here. And just what has just been lopsided. This defense has been putting the hurt on these players. And then a nice little completion right there to wide receiver number 15. What's weird about this team is it's set up like Hawaii to where a lot of these wide receivers aren't aren't taller than like 5'10". I think one of the top four wide receivers we have, interception right there, could be taken to the house. But fortunately enough, wide receiver number four gets the fumble, but it's going to be picked up. Again, just so many things against our luck, and then there you go. Not the true freshman. It is the better composure left tackle. I think he's a junior on this team, gets hurt. He's the only other tackle that's like above 72 overall. So that's going to put, you know, put a damper to uh, off. And then this shit. Hey, come on, y'all. This isn't Clemson of 2018, 19, and 2020. This is, you know, this is a solid Clemson team. This is nothing to write home about. And then this shit's happening with, you know, leaping up midair. It's not even Bowers making that play. So, I mean, what can you do at that point when those kind of plays are being made? But we'll just have to see. Wide receiver 15, beautiful catch. He seems to be the number one target for this team. I know we targeted the right outside wide receiver quite a bit in the previous offense. But it looks like wide receiver number four and wide receiver 15 seem to be the top targets. And speaking of wide receiver number four, beautifully set up play, beautifully thrown ball. And there you go. No, no huddle offense is going to get about, what, 70 yards on two straight plays. Total 35 attempts on the day, 210 yards. But he does have about negative 50 yards on, uh, on sacks. Should have been thrown to... Uh, should have been thrown to the slot wide receiver on the outside on that one. But I'll take it. Whatever. It is what it is. Still throwing to wide receiver number four. He's flashing. He did injure his elbow, but it was only a bruised elbow on that one. So nice touchdown right here. Going to, you know, limit the game to however shit of a margin it was before. They're going to recover it and pretty much seal this game on this play. Our impact player gets blown out on the outside. So does the other impact player in the free safety. And that's going to be the game, folks. Shoot off the cannons. Shoot off whatever fireworks you want to. Clemson expected to win this game. Clemson does win this game. They don't run the ball very well. But they do pass the ball with over 230 yards in the first half. Nice catch right there. Just totally kidding. Drop pass again. Turnover. And then there you go. 55 to 21 it was it was a 17 point margin but an absolute thrashing in the third and fourth quarters in the second half here as Clemson ends up winning by 34 points 55 to 21 as they get a field goal and two touchdowns to add on to even more of a, that 17 point lead to win by 34 so Clemson Gets the much, much expected win and a loss, but it is an expected loss in the first game for Coach D. Looking forward to Rice next week to start off the Sun Belt. Later, fellas.